Grace. I'm sleeping over. Cool. Oh. Children, can you give us a moment? Hey, what's that, Abby? A listening device. Looks like something out of Arthur and Kenneth. You built this thing? Yep. Who are Arthur and Kenneth? You're telling me you haven't read the covert adventures of Arthur Pennington and Kenneth Van Holshauser? Man, what rocket you've been living under? Here, take it. No time for reading fiction. So Arthur and Kenneth are super spies, right? And they go on. No, shut up, shut up. Listen. Phone calls, no letters, and I searched everywhere. He just vanished. Well, my agents inform me that he left the country under a false identity about four weeks ago. But after that, the trail went cold. Anya, did you notice anything peculiar? about his demeanor lately? No. I don't know. Depression, maybe. Sometimes he doesn't talk for a day. Just like in the asylum. You know how he is. Always brooding. Yeah. I can't go after him, Grace. I have to stay here and watch over my girls. You are the head of the FBI. Isn't there anything you can do? Listen, trust me, if there was anything any of the agencies could do, girl, you know I would be all over that shit. You know what the bottom line is? He doesn't want to be found, Anya. And if BJ fucking Blaskowitz doesn't want to be found, there is nothing and no one on God's green earth that's gonna find his ass. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucked. Screw this. You will look for him. No one ever does anything. Losers, got, no, we gotta do something. What, 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 what would Arthur and Kenneth do? Well, they're characters in a book, Jess. I, I know that, asshole. I'm thinking out loud. I'm getting something from upstairs. There's nothing up there. <sighs> Whoa. Wow. None of you knew this was here? Negative. What the hell is this place? Check this out. That's Seth's handwriting. Who's this? Codename Blackbird. Paris Catacombs. There you have it. That's your lead. He's in Paris. You know, if we say something, they aren't gonna do jack shit. Well, I guess it's just up to us then. I say, what time is it? I think it's time for Arthur and Kenneth to pilastrate this sticky wicket. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys are weird. Abby, this is a special. What do you think you're doing? We're going to the hamburger bar, mother. Abby, get back here right fucking now. You're breaking up. Abby! <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you something. Whoa. Where'd you get these power suits? Made them. All the Nazi generals have these nowadays, so you will need it. Holy fucking shit. You're pretty awesome, Abby. I just finished one of Seth's projects. It was his dying wish. 
I have more things I'm working on in the cargo hold. No wonder Grace wants you to join her advanced research division. Maybe she'll send you to Juvie instead. Sounded pretty mad you stole a ride. You think she cares what her mother thinks? I don't care what anyone thinks. Are you Blackbird? And who might you girls be? Oh. I do not want to do that shit again. Well, stewardess, sis. Just like Daddy told us. Winkler is out of the...
want us to do this the stealthy way? for some action. Sounds like they've started evacuating citizens. It's the Paris Uprising. Nazis are getting scared out of their pants. We gotta get a code. We should check that guard booth. Hold on. There's a piece of text right here. <clears throat> Thanks, sis. So, like, like, like I could... Nazis going down. Yeah, I feel 
feel unstoppable. So, like, like, like I could take down Sarah Jane from school. Sarah Jane stole your lunch money, Jess. Doesn't make her a Nazi. Yeah, close enough. Place, totally deserted. Like the end of the world or something. Would you look at that there thing? I just love these cute little mini computers. Should be something interesting to read on it, too. Reckon we got some Nazis around here somewhere, Jess. Keep up the good work, Soph. Thank you, Jess. I'm on my way.
was so fucking cool, so... <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh ah! shoot, okay. A treat for you. Oh my god. The wine is excellent avec le chocolat. Cigarette? You should pull it down into your lungs like this. Now you. Mm. 
Ah, if it wasn't for the war, you beautiful girls could be having the time of your life. You should indulge in every moment. Ladies. I decrypted fragments of stolen Nazi intel on the computer. Witness reports from Nazis who survived the encounter with Captain Blaskowitz. Piecing together the fragmented information, I deduced that he was looking for a place called Lab X. That's where he must be then. Let's go. Hold on, Jess. Only a privileged few know where Lab X is. Sit down, asswipe. Shove it. You know German. Oh, we know enough. Abby. We intercepted a transmission with General Lothar Brandt. Listen. That's what we got. May I have? General Lothar built the brothers to subdue and control Paris. An Uber commandant in each tower guards the keys to the main computers. If we take control over them, we can unlock the entrance to Lab X and find your father. Break into the towers, kill the Uber commandant, steal their keys, open the main computers, and Bob's your uncle. My uncle's name was Hubert, and he was killed by the Nazis. Oh, um, I'm sorry. That, that's, an ex that's an expression Arthur and Kenneth used. That... I was only joking. Of course, I know the expression about Uncle Bob. <laughs> well, it's for me. Thank you. Sof, I fear the brothers may be out of your depth. You have to train before you even dare to approach the towers. Good luck. And let me know if you need any more cigarettes. Okay, girls? Du bon travail, Abby. Such a cool dame. Do you think we're missing something? Like what? Like the snake in the grass. Can't you just enjoy life for a second, Jess? 